Let's talk about citing the work and ideas of others in your research paper in APA style. You do this in two major places in your essay, on your reference page, which appears on its own sheet at the end of your paper, and through in-text citations in the body of your paper. In APA style, your in-text citations let your readers know who is responsible for the cited information, when the work was published, and where they can find the information for themselves. You need to include an in-text citation each time you borrow or refer to the information or ideas of others, whether you're quoting directly or paraphrasing in your own words. Let's look at some examples of how we do this. In-text citations give credit to your source and help your readers locate the cited source in the references section of your paper. Whenever you use a source, you provide in parentheses the author's name and the date of publication. If you use an exact quotation or you are paraphrasing an author's words, you should provide the author's last name, date of publication, and a page number. If you're summarizing a longer work, be sure to include the author's last name and the date. Whether you are paraphrasing or quoting, you'll typically use a signal phrase to introduce the quotation with the author's last name, the year, and the page number included. In APA style, this can be done like this, with the author's last name, year, and page number at the end of the sentence. Or it can be done like this, with the author's name mentioned in the signal phrase, followed by the date in parentheses, and the page number at the end. There are many ways that you can vary the signal phrases you use. Try to mix it up so your paper has a nice flow and doesn't sound repetitive. Let's look at some special situations. If there are two authors, you'll use the AND in between the author's names. In the parenthetical citation, you will use the ampersand between the names, the symbol for AND. When citing a work with three to five authors, you will name all of the authors in the signal phrase or the in-text citation. If you reference this source again, you will only need to use the first author's name followed by at all, meaning and others. If there are six or more authors, just cite the first author followed by at all. If you are citing the name of a work with no known author, you use the source's full title in your signal phrase followed by the date of publication. You can give the page number or location of the cited text at the end of the sentence. If you're citing a web page or an electronic document with no page numbers, you can identify paragraph numbers in your text citation to aid your reader in finding the information. We write this as PAR period. APA also has specific guidelines for inserting a graph, table, image, or figure into your work. Let's say we wanted to insert this image about the expansion of coyotes in the United States into this paper. First, the guidelines say that it's important that you mention the figure in the text. So in the text of our paper, we could say something like, Figure 1 shows the expansion of coyotes in the U.S. from 1900 to 2016. Then the citation for this figure would go underneath the image in your paper. We'd first provide a caption or a phrase that describes what the figure is, and then follow that with a brief explanation so that a reader could clearly see what the figure conveys. Next, we'd provide the citation in APA style. The format would go like this. I'm showing you a model so that you can fill in your own information. Remember, when in doubt, always follow a model to help you get the formatting right. If you'd like to double check that your in-text citations are correct, you should be able to cross-reference each parenthetical citation with the first word of the citation on your references page. This video doesn't cover everything that might come up with APA in-text citations, but it should give you a great start. Complete the in-text exercise provided with this video and bring it to the Writing Center for feedback. And remember, if you have questions, you can always drop into the Writing Center for help or access one of the helpful resources on our webpage and use our samples to help you. Watch our next video to get the basics on formatting your APA-style references page.